everybody, we've made a couple of changes around the back of the stadium. Let's go take a closer look. These are our new rain gardens. As well as looking great, these rain gardens provide three key environmental benefits. Number one, they collect rainwater from the stadium roof, holding it like a giant sponge before slowly returning it to the main drains. This can help reduce the risk of flooding. Number two, through layers of sand, soil, compost and gravel, rain gardens filter out harmful pollutants before they can enter our rivers. And number three, they provide a mini oasis for wildlife in the city centre. So I think rugby teams, all sports teams have a really big profile um, and it's important to use that profile to promote good causes. You know, in the same way that we inspire on the pitch, it's important for us to inspire off the pitch. So the fans that come and see us on the pitch and, and get inspired by, by, by what we do for our play, I think equally can be inspired by what we do off the pitch. So you know, environmental initiatives like what we're about to see today are incredibly important and, and we can really make those fans um, make some changes in their lives as well. It's been an opportunity to plant some plants at work. Gardening's a big passion of mine away from the club, so to be able to do it here is, is a, lu a luxury. Um, and we've got some sort of hardy perennials, some ferns, uh, some flowering plants as well, which would be great for pollinators. So all in all, I think there's a really good balance. On the banks of the River Severn, the city of Gloucester is no stranger to flooding. You can find out your flood risk and sign up to the Flood Warning Service on the Environment Agency's website. You can also help to reduce the risk of flooding by building rain gardens and planters and the Environment Agency has been part funding this project to show you how. So, when you get a moment, make sure you come check out these rain gardens. And a massive thank you to the Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust volunteers and Gloucester Rugby for bringing these gardens to life.